Assalamu alaikum everybody from top to the bottom here's Ahmed Nasser with a new C sharp professional tutorial in this tutorial we're just gonna build a, a connection for our database and creating and configuring universal data link uh, and basically to do that just go to your notepad okay and go file and try to save this to your desktop and we're gonna save this as dot udl and what is udl? udl is uh, is the universal data link and this is uh, started from the microsoft data access component uh, M -A -M -D -A -C, which will provide the data link properties and just give you a dialog box uh, as some user interface uh, that you can specify the connection information to data provider and Windows 2000 uh, and other later operating system and uh, you can use uh, the, the data link properties dialog box to save the connection string or save the connection information in the universal data link uh, which is the UDL so basically uh, we just go to the notepad plus plus and open uh, save as dialog here and we just make a new uh, just name anything you want let's say connection and just save this as a UDL file in the in your desktop so save this okay we just save this and as you can notice here uh, we got the connection so we just close the notepad and we just double click on the connection okay we just double click on that so a new window will pop up here uh, will pop up you see you see they have a provider connection advanced other stuff so we need to choose uh, the database provider so since we have a SQL server uh, we need to choose the SQL server provider so we just click on that and select that and click next in the next window the next tab we have a connection so you need to select or enter a server name so just refresh this and click here we select the server name which is uh, Ahmed Nasser select this and go here uh, we choose the authentication and just we use the Windows integrated security and here we just select the database on the server and well, since we have only one database we should got Ahmed company so click here so it's loading okay took 30 seconds and okay we got this message uh, that data uh, we have a problem with the connection so just click OK and again click OK so uh, you you notice that problem but that's because if you go to uh, let me just show you, you go to SQL server you got this uh, server name Ahmed Nasser you know PC SQL Express so just copy this cancel all the stuff and back to uh, the window here and just paste it here okay and try go down we just get the the you know the the database just select it and and this connection so everything is succeed click OK and save this so if you before you save this if you go to uh, the file and try open it with notepad you gotta see nothing it's an empty file but close this and click OK here so just click OK and back to the file uh, I mean open it with notepad so we got a connection string here so you can see we got a connection string say uh, this is a command if you want to write a command you just type a semicolon and it give you the provider which is uh, you know SQL and integrated security as we specified in the configuration and we have all the stuff we have the database name here we have data source 
okay we have the data source so this is basically the connection string how to make the connection string and how to configure the UDL file it's basically an easy steps in the next video we gotta put this we you know we just gotta take this connection string and put it inside Visual Studio so we go in here and add that connection string in our project in order to be able to make the connection to the database so see you there guys thank you for watching here's Ahmed Nasser and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel people we need subscribers anyway thank you and see you there